Hi guys! Good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you are doing fine. Hope you are keeping safe. Anyways, I brought the gist you all have been waiting for. I mean the gist about how did the interview go? Yeah, because the last two videos uh, that I posted, I talked about the fact that I was on a trip going for an interview i was called for an interview the pilot's job search phase like you all know that i'm in that phase and yeah we are looking for a flying job and all that and so when you get an interview there's this excitement yeah there's this excitement that comes with it and also you're like am i going to pass am i not going to pass what am i supposed to expect you know all those things and i'm sure if you're also in this space these are some of the things you're thinking about but just take a deep breath <laughs> I can't lie to you, so after when you get that email, you are not going to take a deep breath. Your, your mind is going to be running like, what am I supposed to expect? What what will come? What will they ask? What will they not ask? So I'm going to be just seeing you what happened. But just in case you're new to this channel and you don't know me, my name is Princess Anu. And on this channel, we talk about aviation, motivation, and adventure. And yes, I have a commercial pilot license. Who that? I'm in my flying job phase yeah that's what i've been saying lately so let's just use that word i'm in my flying job such face <laughs> okay okay guys let's go into the real deal how did the interview go first of all i was was i sitting was i where was i i think i was in a class or something and i got an email that i have been invited for an interview one of the mistakes I made is that I didn't read that message very well because if I read the message very well, I would have known I was invited for a test interview. That's a written interview. Or maybe I just felt, okay, interview is interview. Well, maybe they will not ask tests or maybe it will not be written. But anyways, I'm talking about the written part. And maybe later on, when the oral part comes up, we'll talk about the oral part. But let's talk about the written part now. So it's a written interview that I actually went for. So I got this mail and I was excited and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But you know, first of all, before you can get an email from a company, you have to apply. So I applied, obviously, I wrote an application, I sent my CV, I sent my pilot license. Another thing you have to do, you have to send your the last three pages of your logbook. That means the company wants to see the last three pages of your logbook. Then, if you have an international passport, you can add it. And uh, but you need to have an international passport. In fact, it's, it's something that's very important. I'm just saying that at that phase of application, you might decide to add it. You might decide not to add it. That doesn't mean you will not need it because if you're going to be going out for your type rating, that you're going to be flying out for your type rating, you are definitely going to be needing your international passport so it's something that if you don't have it right now even as you're entering to flight school anyways you spend like two years in flight school you might not get it immediately but i think it's something you just need to get it kind of shows that yes you're from your country so you should get your international passport this is just by the side so i went for the test interview and when i got there i wasn't i didn't know what to expect so they give us like sheet of papers you know that kind of thing like not really it's not an organized sheet of paper not like a plain sheet of paper an answer sheet and a question paper and in the question like the question paper we had um maths i'm getting maths okay but let, let's use it like this we had quantitative reasoning verbal reasoning mathematics we had essay you know this thing that you always see, even in evaluation exam, this thing that they usually ask um, words and opposites, like synonyms, antonyms. See, guys, basically what I've seen that in life, you carry everything. You don't drop anything along the corner. Like, you know this is you did in primary school, secondary school, university. You're still going to carry everything along with you, all the maths. And funny enough, something about the maths is that we were not allowed to use calculator. For that interview you were not allowed calculator is not allowed at all so all your calculations you're going to do it from your sweet brain <laughs> well and the maths i'm going to say the maths it was not so tick 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 but you need a lot of time to reason how many hours did they give to us i think they gave us about two hours plus that's to tell you how intense it was we had like i think 25 25 questions then we had essay then we, had, we were supposed to write an an essay on some things like you pick from three questions on some things you're supposed to write like maybe qualities of a pilot or qualities of a commercial pilot or qualities of a good a good um 
a good worker uh, like a good employee yeah that's the word a good employee this kind of things these are the things they ask but i want to talk more about the quantitative reasoning you see things like maybe they give you a x c d and give you another example and like what is c d uh, like you know the way quantitative reason is like you have to reason you have to think around it for you to be able to pick an answer so that was it was just like brain work throughout and guys i want to talk about something again there's this um app that i told you that i've been i've been uh playing it's like a game but it's an intellectual game like elevate and i'm going to say that elevate really helped me no, this is not a sponsored video. Like you guys know, I'm not doing a sponsored video for anybody. I'm just telling you guys what helped me. Part of what I feel helped me in that um, interview, that test interview, written interview. That game, uh, you know, it has to do with a lot of reasoning. So when you see the questions, there's a way you reason. And so it made it easy. And even in that game, there's this word and opposite. So I have learned a lot of words. So seeing some words, I could pick it, you know, just like the way they say biology. You automatically know that, okay, biology, study of life, like bio is life. So, you know, you put, put the two uh, words together and you're able to tell what it's supposed to be. For the mathematics part of it, you know, they give you, if, like, I, let, let me uh, remember the kind of questions that really come out in mathematics, like, like this kind of question, like, um, if, I, I okay let's say i bought one pen for 25 naira how much am i going to get 20 pens for how many naira or i bought two pens for 7.5 naira how much am i going to get five pens you know those kind of words basically you know how they do all those kind of mathematics now like you have sorry i was about picking my pen and my camera just fell so you know like you have x is equals to this then seven will now be equals to what you know those the, the way they do those kind of mathematics anyways let me not go deep into the mathematical part but i'm just saying those are the kind of questions that you're going to see so hold your basic stuff at the back of your hands we're going to talk about the oral part later when oral part comes up and all that but basically that was how the interview went i applied like i told you i told you what i used to apply the documents i used to apply and after applying i was called we had a written interview first after the written interview, we had uh, in the written interview we had quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning. We had essay writing. We had this word and opposite stuff. We had to do some mathematical calculations. We had to do some um, some like just talk a little. They need to. See, I don't know. Maybe we want to check our handwriting or they want to check like how uh, we reason based on the essay part. Because I wasn't really expecting an essay part, but I like when I saw the essay part, I'm like, okay, what were they trying to drive out for this essay part? But basically, guys, I'm going to say it's hard to do with a lot of reasoning. I think they just want to know if you're intelligent, if you can reason, basically. So that was how it went, and we are so hopeful that something good is going to come out of it. So join me in prayers. Let's pray about it. <laughs> No, no, guys, but I'm serious. Actually, I think it was, it went well. Yeah, yeah, it went really well. So, I'm hope I'm hopeful that something good is going to come out of it, definitely. So, until then, until I give you guys the feedback and feedback, you know, we are going to keep progressing as time goes on about every other thing that happened. But, until then, don't forget to keep pushing to get to where you want to get to. See, guys, I cannot stop saying that and i will not stop saying that if so far i am still on this channel i am still alive i am still talking to you i will keep telling you you should keep pushing for your dreams keep striving to get to where you want to get to because it's not late it's not late don't feel that oh i've lost the chance oh i've lost the time oh it's not possible i can't get it who says you can't get it who says you can't get into flights who says you can't get that money who says it cannot work out for you if god has not even said it then who is anybody to say it so just keep your faith together believe just like the way i'm believing the moment you keep believing good things are going to continue to happen and we will all at last be happy about you know the progress we've made and where god has helped us to you know get to so until then guys be fine and stay safe bye <laughs>